interview with British heavyweight David Allen. You've been placed on hold. Please wait. Hello. How are you doing, David? Yeah, good, thank you, mate. Really sorry about that, mate. Really bad signal over here. No problem, mate. It's all right. Uh, so, the 30th of July, uh, against Dilly and White, fight you've been looking forward to for quite a while. Um, how's uh, training been going for that? I know you've only had a couple of days' notice for it, uh, before training for a few weeks, but uh, how's, how are you expecting things to go? Yeah, all good. Um, you know, I joined the Ingle Gym, rejoined the Ingle Gym about three weeks ago. We've just been right. training steady, getting trying to get fit and and um, just you know getting fit, getting back in the gym. My, my weight was low anyway. This is the first time I've I've kept my weight down. I've not been training. I wasn't doing any mad training, but I've just I've just kept myself ticking over, kept myself moderately fit. Uh, but I, but I've just been be careful. But I've been putting my mouth for the first time, so my my weight is down. Yeah, I think you're like taking a photo. That you posted up. Yeah, yeah, and I'm and I'm pretty fit. You know, I'm moderately fit already. I've got two weeks hard training now. You know, I'm. You know, there'll be no excuse. So I'll be fit and I'll be ready. So you know, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I know there's been a bit of a banter between you, the two years over the past couple of weeks over Twitter and stuff. Yeah. Uh, is um, have you have you heard anything else? But like, after that from Billy, like, did you, did you know he was wanting to fight or? Yeah, there's been a lot of talk, but like the fight's on now. We know the fight's on. I've done all that is necessary to to get the fight. You know, it, the fight would have never have happened if I wouldn't have talked to Twitter and definitely gave some stick. So, you know that that job's done now. Um, uh-huh. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I, I've I've got two weeks now. Where I've got to really put some hard work and training in. I've got to get the best fighting possible. Yeah. You know, and 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 the words, the 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 battle of the words and the banter will, will start again at the press conference on Thursday uh-huh. of the fight. So until then, you know. It's, it's serious business, and then Thursday, Friday, you know, enjoy the weigh-in in the press conference, have a bit of fun, uh, and then Saturday, obviously, is fight night. So, but you know, up until up until press conference when the training's all finished, you know, it's serious business. You know, yeah. there's no time for any of that now. It's, uh-huh. you know, I'm getting ready for the fight. Have you have you organised any sparring partners yet? Yeah, yeah, we've just been looking at that today, yesterday, and today. Um, obviously, I only agreed to fight two days ago. I, I turned it down at first. I didn't turn it down. I wasn't actually offered it. Um, but you know, I just think I just think Dillian White is, is there to be a beat, and I think the last opportunity I would get to fight him. You know, I was uh-huh. going to try and move him onto the world scene, and I just thought, you know, am I going to get an opportunity like this again, where against yeah. a beatable opponent to move onto the world scene so soon? So, you know, I really believe I can beat him, and if I do beat him, you know, it, put, it does put me. On on the fringe of the world level, and 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 I believe you know I believe I will be in. So yeah, uh, after your, after your last fight, um, you were quite sort of upset after it uh, because yeah. of the performance that Jason Gavin put in. Um, were you expecting a, a sort of big British name to come off the back of that after seeing that fight? No, I wasn't expecting it. You know, my manager Stephen Ball told me to stay busy. I, bel- I, I, I was under the impression that I was fighting Dave Price, and you know, I agreed to the yeah. fight. It never came off. But I agree with Dillian White fight. That looked like it wasn't coming off as well. So, you know, there's been a lot of disappointment. I've been a pro for a half years now. I've had a lot of disappointment. A lot of big fights have fallen through. A lot of stuff's not happened. And I just thought, you know, it's time now. Just The fight is there. Maybe I'm not 100% ready for it, but I'll put 100% effort in. That's, that's yeah. one thing for sure. And, you know, I'm, I'm sick of waiting about for these opportunities. This opportunity uh-huh. here is in front of me. You know, the money isn't great. It's not. I'm not it's not about the money. I just truly believe I will beat Dillian White's July 30th. And that's what yeah. it comes down to. I just sat down and I just thought, can I beat Dillian White's July 30th? And I said, yeah. So I took it. Uh-huh. So I hope it by these for you as well. Are you looking forward to having that in Leeds? Yeah, yeah, obviously. I used to live in Leeds. I lived in Leeds for, for a few years. So, um, yeah. You know, Dillian White is a very popular fighter now, so he will have his fair share of support. When you get in the ring, there's only me and him in there anyway. And, uh-huh. and, and like I say, it could be a, it, this, this fight is going to go one two ways. It's either going to be a great fight, it's going to be all over the floor, it's going to be a big yeah. arm burn, or, or you know, it could turn ugly. You know, I'm, I'm going to do whatever is necessary to win. I'm going to uh-huh. maul him. I'm going to. I don't believe he's the fittest man in the world. I'm going to get on top of him and make him work. And 
and try and break his heart, and that, and that is the plan. You know, I'm not sure about saying the plan because you know that's what it is. That's what I've got uh-huh. to do. It's got to out, uh-huh. out, out, man, out man him. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you see his last performance, and did you see any difference with the the new trailer that he's got around Mark Thames? Did you see anything that he's no, got? I, uh, I, I didn't think he looked that bad. You know, I think I think the cruiserweight I've seen cruiserweight is a fast, and he needs someone to stand in front of him, and, and I need the same. And you know, Gavin and Bakerin didn't put either of us in our best lights, but I think both uh-huh. of us against each other. I have to say, it's going to go one of a few ways, and it's even when daily. If one of us lands on the other, it's over. And if yeah. not, it's just going to become, a, it's going to become an horrible, grueling fight. So, yeah. but hey. you know, I'm ready for, I'm ready for both. You know, like physically, even though people might say you're not 100, percent you know, I don't believe it comes down to being physically ready. It's about being mentally ready. And I'm mentally yeah. ready to go wherever I've got to go to beat him. Uh-huh. You know, I'm, I really, I really am 100 percent ready for this fight. I've never. I've never felt this way about fighting with a man before. I've never, I've never really wanted to beat someone. But I've always just wanted to win. But now I really want to beat my opponent. So uh-huh, uh-huh. mentally, I've never been in a state of mind like this before. Yeah. If you get, if, if if you do get the win, that will cut off your right off the rankings as well. Yeah, yeah it, put, it puts me, it puts me on the fringe of world level. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know. It's for the WBC international title. That gives you a world yeah. ranking in its own, I believe. So. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, obviously, I'll, if I beat Dillian White, I'm not world class. I don't know that. I'm far from world class if I beat Dillian White. But you know, it, it puts me out there. It, it gets me with match room again. It, it, it's a big fight. I beat Dillian White. You know, I'm the best of domestic bunch. I believe the winner of me and Dillian White is the best fighter that is British that is not world class. I.e. Tyson Fury, Joshua Hay, anything below that. The winner of this fight is is the number one man. Yeah, uh huh, definitely. Um. What about uh, ticket sales and anything like that? Do you know anything about tickets yet, or no? There's another fight on the on the card from Doncaster. Reece Small. Um, he has some tickets left. I think he only has a few tickets left. You know, so just I've just put on my social media. You know, if people are looking to go contact him, you know, he has tickets left. Yeah, uh, that, that's the way of going about it. I believe I may get some forty pound tickets this week. Right. Uh, but you know, Warrington sells in Leeds. You know, he's massive in Leeds. I think I yeah. think he's nearly got the place out. It's a shame, you know. Uh-huh. Um, but, but yeah, hopefully as many people can make it as they as they can. You know, tickets dependent. Um, also, uh, I'll, I'll ask Bob, uh, what's your, your final uh, prediction for the fight? Then, if you get a, a round, or are you just got to you you no bother if it goes to points, or do you, do you I think get out of there? Obviously, Julian White, even though he's a, he's a match on fight, you know, I don't, I don't want to let it go to the, I don't want to let it go to the cards. You never do as anybody, you know. Uh-huh. And if me and Dillian White go 12 rounds, we're going to be sore for a very long time. <laughs> so, um, I fancy I will stop Dillian White, you know, round 8 onwards. Right. Probably I'm uh-huh. a naturally fit a man. I'll just want uh-huh. to get it, I'll just be on him from the get go, just high pace. And I just don't think he'll be able to keep with me. Uh-huh. It's, good, it's good that you're sort of telling me that, that what's, what's going to happen. Some fighters don't like to sort of give away what they're going to be doing and stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to outbox the man. I think he, he knows that. Everyone knows that. I'm not going to outbox him. I'm not a bigger. I'm not probably a bigger puncher. I'm probably not as strong as him, but I'm as fitter. I'm fitter than he is. I'm just a naturally fitter. Just a naturally fitter man, and, and I've got a good chin, and I'll just keep coming all day long. And if he and if he can't do the twelve rounds, I don't believe he can. He will come unstuck. Yeah. Yeah. That's brilliant, David. Thanks very much for your time, mate, uh, and all the best for the thirtieth. No problem, mate. Thanks a lot. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.